Good morning, everyone. It's me, Coffee Stitcher. How is everybody? Um, had a very productive week, um, as those of you who follow me on Instagram probably saw. There was almost a daily post. Um, thanks to being ill and having two days off last week and laying fairly low, um, I actually managed to... Uh, to finish all of my June goals by Friday. So um, that meant I brought some, decided to go for a finish, um, which took significantly less time than I anticipated. So we will see what I'm gonna work on this week. Um, but that's always exciting. Um, so we, uh, we shall see what's coming. I know, obviously, next next weekend I'll be working on Under the Sea because the next part of that comes out. And then the 28th is uh, the new moon. So I will have a new star for the, for the new moon. Um, so, yeah, we shall... Um, we shall see. Um, I think one of the things I am going to do today, because I was spinning the wheel for my archives, and there are a couple of patterns that have hit a time or two that I've said, you know what, I just, I always skip over them. There are some that I've also got hidden from it, because it's like, well, I've got this started, but I have another thing from this designer I'm currently working on. So, because I can't, I struggle if I try to do two of the same designer at a time. They're currently not open as an option. Um, but there's still several that, that, uh, need the, um, that I think probably need to be officially go vote. There was one I definitely did this week. Um, it was one that I had a great crazy idea, but the more I looked at it, the less I liked the idea. And then the more I looked at the pattern, the less I really liked the pattern. So one item got UFO'd. Um, but, and there was one that I, I pulled out, but it had a similar enough border to Pride and Prejudice that I just didn't want to, didn't want to go there. Um, that was a whole lot of rambling. It's going to be one of those days, I feel like. All right, so um, got some good Q&A this week. We've got some haul. Uh, we got some updates. So um, let's start with Novice Stitcher's question. She asks, how long did, into your stitching did you attempt to even weave? And I actually waited a while. Um, I started stitching in 2014 with Ada, kind of like most people do. Um, I jumped over to linen. And then I, like, was a total snob and was like, I'm only going to stitch on linen. I would never stitch on even leave. Da, 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 da. Kind of like that. So it was, I think 2017 was when I got my first piece of even weave. And I bought it for um, a soda stitch pattern that had a really... Like, I saw the fabric for it, and I thought, oh, this would be perfect for it. But it was an even weave, and I thought, oh, it can't hurt to try even weave. And then I freaking fell in love with even weave. So it was about three years before I made the, the journey over. And honestly, I prefer even weave to linen more often than I don't. Um, and then I was like, I'm never going back to Ada. And then I pulled out this guy here, and was working out, was like, I actually do like Ada. So I'm... A lot of it depends on the designer and the design itself. So I'm not quite the... Not quite the snob I was. Uh, but... Yeah. Um, Giovanna Betancourt asks... What's one pop culture reference or theme you'd love to have on a t-shirt that you've never found or have not found one you'd like? Uh, well, my answer is always my lord and savior, Carol Channing. Um, in fact, I would be probably completely content to live in a world where I could wear a different Carol Channing shirt every day. 
Um, I also don't always find Muppet shirts that I really like. Like, I don't know why. I just don't... As much as I love the Muppets, I've never really found a shirt that I just went, yes, I need to own you. Yeah. But I would be happy to get a Muppet shirt. Muppets and Carol Channing. I've got a Sesame Street shirt or two that I really liked. I One I really loved... Um, that you may have seen in some of my older videos that I got at Target, but it was one of those shirts that, like, the first time I washed it, like, the image just disappeared. Um, but it had a picture of, um, all of the main Muppets from the, from Sesame Street, and it said all my friends are from the street. Um, or something like that. I thought it was great. Um, let's see. Deborah Dixon, who I think accidentally commented on Giovanna Betancourt instead of posting on her own, um, Asked, do you stitch from the PDF on your iPad or print out sections? How do you manage your patterns while stitching? The answer is yes and no. So the first part. So there are certain, um, the majority of the PDF designs, I will stitch them off of the iPad. Now, that being said, patterns like the Brooks Books Princesses, where there's lots of color changes, those I will print and work off of a paper copy of because I like being able to mark off what I've done. I just find that that makes my life easier. Um, that being said, the majority of what I get PDF-wise aren't that elaborate. I tend to prefer... So, I don't do a lot of printing unless it's something like that where I really need, to, really need the ability to mark... Um, I may end up having to do it with the Pride Sal from Modern Folk Embroidery. Um, we'll see. Um, but you, um, so that's kind of the answer to that. How do I manage my patterns while stitching? Well, I stitch on the couch, sitting on the couch, so there's the arm of the couch is here. Lowry stand across. Either my iPad sits on the arm, or I have a clipboard that I put the paper patterns in, and that sits there. And then nine times out of ten, do I have one here? If it's a pattern where the colors are not listed, um, like some... Some patterns, like, will have the colors very easily accessible, but if they don't, or if there's a lot of colors in a pattern, then I will take a note card and I'll put the symbol and then what the color is. And then that attaches by a magnet to my Lowry, so it's right there where I can see it. And that's how I do that. Um... Uh, Natty, thank you. That headlamp has been super, super handy. Um, I am a big fan of it. Um, so, that's the Q&A. So, the haul for this week. Well, um, first I ordered three colors, three different colors of brown fuzzy stuff. Two of which are fairly similar to each other. So we're going to set the other one in between so you can sort of see the difference. But I got three shades of brown fuzzy stuff um, so that I can do monkey wings and more hair and things like that. Uh, I'm, I'm basically slowly but surely acquiring all of the colors of fuzzy stuff. And I'm okay with this. Um, then I ordered the Black Even Weave for Great Gatsby by uh, Stitching Book Club. It's Fat 16th because I didn't need a whole lot. For it. Um, so we will be giving that a start here probably soonish. Um, I did locate my missing um, Little Women pattern <laughs> that I just could not find. Um, so I did locate that, so we'll be diving back in to do its border so that I can get it FFO'd shortly. I also bought this lovely piece of blue. Um, which is not showing up terribly well. Let's see, what is that? That helps. That's kind of true to life there. Um, it is, what is 
color called. Azure Blue, and it's in Lagana, and I got a fat quarter of it. I'm sure I will have a lovely use for it. And then I also ordered this pattern, because you know me and my chickens. It's by um, My Big Toe, and it says, uh, just one chicken short of crazy. So, big fan. Big fan. All right. And then I ordered one skein of DMC that I needed, which is really what started the whole thing, was I needed one skein of DMC, but then I couldn't let it ride alone, and then I thought, well, might as well get the fuzzy stuff. And I thought, oh, well, since I've now got this headlamp, I should get the black fabric. And I was like, oh, there's this blue fabric. And then I found this pattern, and I thought, okay, now I'm done. Exactly like that. All right. So, what did I work on this week? Well, uh, I worked on Now You're in the World. Uh, right, well, that's what I call it. It's it's actually called Wonderful Life from uh, Hands on Designs. So here's the pattern itself. It's a very long project, lengthwise. Um, yeah, because it's, I mean, the, the frame itself that they use is like 28 by 4.25. So, and they say the approximate design sign is, is 27 by 3. So. Um, so my p goal was to finish up the left-hand side, and I achieved that. Minus the bolts. So. Here it is in full so far. So next month's plan is going to be as little as there is left. I think my plan next month is going to be to do the right side up. And then um, once that, and then, so that'll be July's goal. Um, and then August's goal will be the words, which would get me to a finish. So, um, obviously I did my own color swaps for just about everything in here. Um, and then one change I did make was I made this a tent instead of a teepee because I didn't want to be appropriating a culture that's not mine. So I just went with a tent. Ooh. Sorry, this one's a little bit more difficult. This one takes a, some finagling to get back into its pouch. Okay. So I've worked on that. Then, um, we'll come back to that one. Let's see. Then we worked on Snow White. Oh, whoops, this is not Snow White. Then we worked on Snow White by Brooks Books. Um, my goal was to get about half of a page done. So what I actually ended up doing was I did, finished out the apron, I did the skirt on both sides, and then I did this side of the cape. So my plan next month is gonna be to try and maybe finish out, is gonna be to finish out this this page here, and then we'll move over to this one. There it is up close. This is on Ale by Picture This Plus. I really love this one so far. And I can't wait to watch this one grow. And for reference, for people who like these larger full images, Come on. Come on. Where are you, Snow White? Yeah. So here is the uh, the full pattern. 
So we're we're getting there. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to. I'm gonna into the the greenery in the skirt. I think that's gonna be fun. All right, then I worked on Stitch and Witches, which we're actually going to swap out the bag it's in for a different bag that's a little bit more thematic. My goal was to do uh, essentially bands five through nine, which I achieved. So the alphabet block and the pumpkin patch and those three bands below. Now, the... First band that has sort of the vine, and then that second one with the, the multicolor, there are beads that will go in there. Um, they just, I do beads at the end. So here's where I am. This is by Victoria Sampler. And here is the full pattern. So we're about a third of the way done. So next we'll tackle this one, and then we'll do the bands in between. And then I'll tackle this one, and we'll finish. So we've got one, two, three, about four months probably left on it. I say that the the first third took a little bit of time, that first big section. So the pumpkin patch and then the stitch and witches themselves, that may be split into two months. So we've got between four and six months left. All right. Then, and I apologize, you're going to have to watch me do this. Um, then I brought out from, uh, from the archives with the needle. This is by Lila's studio. Um, I did work on it a little this week before I realized that, hey, I could probably get a finish. So I will probably work on this one a little bit more still ahead. Um, but when last I showed this to you, I didn't have a whole lot more done, but I did add, um, I got, I just, I split this block into quarters, so I've got the border done for that part of the quarter. So, and I think that's kind of going to be how I work these, um, just because of the way that the pattern, the pages are split, it's a little bit odd. Um, so, and here's the full pattern. So basically I went boop, boop, and this corner here is going to be what I work on. And I'll probably have to do the same thing over here. And then the rest of this is significantly more like, oh, this will be probably one month, and the words will be one month, and those are you. So it'll be, be a little bit more logical to lay out. So we're shifting that into the llama bag because putting it in the llama bag and putting Stitching Witches in the Hocus Pocus bag just makes a little bit more sense. And it'll make it easier for me to find when I'm going, now what project is this? That is the one thing I just like using exclusively gallon Ziploc bags is figuring out which bag I'm looking at. All right. Then the other thing I did, which is when I went, oh, I could get a finish. So my whip go goal this month was to do um, finish the border of Pride and Prejudice. Um, my friend Jessica it was her month to pick, and that was what she picked that she wanted me to work on. So I just went for a finish. So Friday night I did the finish the plates, and then yesterday I did the swans and the little fleur de lis. Um, I left out, and I think I talked about this before, I left out the, the initials here because since I'm not overly familiar with the characters, they would just, if, if someone looked at them and went, what do those mean? Well, I know they're characters, but I couldn't tell you which ones. And then I also left the years out because I just didn't feel like that was what I wanted to do. So, there we go. She's all done. So this was the very first Stitching Book Club. Um, so that means I have finished, of the ones we've done, I think we're on, I think Narnia was maybe number 10? Let's see. Narnia was number 9. 
So I've done Pride and Prejudice. It's complete. Three Musketeers is complete. Um, after Three Musketeers was Secret Garden, which is complete. Then came Frankenstein, which is not complete. Then came Christmas Carol, which is basically complete. I've got two of the smallest left to do, but the main pattern is done. Um, then Sense and Sensibility, which is complete. Then Little Women, which is complete-ish. We're going to count it as finished because I was done, but then I decided to go back and add. Um, Great Gatsby, which I haven't done, but I now have the fabric for. And Oh, this... Okay, that... So... Christmas Carol, Sense and Sensibility, Little Women, okay, I'm back on track now, uh, Great Gatsby, okay, so I've done six, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I've done seven of the nine, um, or completed seven of the nine, I've got two more to go, uh, two and a half essentially to go, because I kind of stalled out on Frankenstein, but now I can't not have it completed, so. Um, yeah. So, these are, and I did the logo too, so that's our, that's our tenth one. So, I know she is still planning to continue the series, we just don't know when the next one will be yet. Hopefully soon, but I wish her, I know her health is important to her, and that's more important to me than having, I've got plenty to stitch on, so. Yeah. Um, all right, that's kind of it for me this week. I'm not sure what I'm going to work on next. Um, I will spin my wheel. Might as well spin the wheel now. I did go ahead and bring back, um, French Kitchen. Um, because I found the really tealy, which I needed to continue that one with. Um, so let's see what we're going to work on next. Oh, now you're in the world is the one that's next. So I guess I'll throw that one back over there. Um, and yeah. So anyhow, that is it for me today. Um, I hope everyone has a great week, and I will see you all next week.